Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I'm gonna to go through my lotions and creams. I'm waiting for my daughter to get ready, so that is why I'm doing this. Um, I'm just gonna kinda of pick and choose and grab from what's here on the top. There's a lot. <laughs> um, got coconut cream pie, whipped rose latte, Pretty as a peach. Got two fireside flurries. And I think for a little bit, for most of July, I'm probably gonna go on a no buy. And that's because I have so much that I wanna use up. So I will get the you know new fall stuff and the Halloween stuff at some point. Another fireside flurries. Can you tell I like fireside flurries? But I'll get some of that stuff at some point when I have a chance. I just I wanna wait until I've Brought down my collection a little bit if that makes sense we have black raspberry vanilla another fireside flurries <laughs> uh whipped berry meringue iced pear margarita Let's see champagne champagne apple honey i'm never gonna get that name right i have another watermelon lemonade Thousand Wishes for You, Velvet Sugar, Fresh Coconut Colada, and I'm not, you know, I'm not sure about my coconut stuff. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I need to put myself in the mood for it so I can use it up. We have Cucumber Melon, Confetti Cake Pop, I don't know why I hesitated, sorry. Forever Red, Confetti Daydream, Wild Strawberry. I'm still gonna try to use up even my, like my old lotions first too. So we've got Champagne Toast. I know I'm upside down. I should have switched this thing around. Dahlia, Pink Cashmere, and like three more <laughs> strawberry pound cakes. So let's see. I've got another orange vanilla twist. Sweet Pea, Raspberry Chiffon, Vanilla Mocha Cafe, I've had that one a while, another Strawberry Pound Cake, more Velvet Sugar, can you tell I like Velvet Sugar, Waikiki Beach Coconut, Beach Nights, Another Beach Nights, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Pumpkin Cupcake, Sugared Cherry Crisp, I had to make sure that was a lotion, Midsummer Dream, Sunshine Mimosa, Into the Night, I really love Into the Night, Bubbly Rosé, Bonfire Bash, Pear Creme Brulee, Triple Berry Martini, Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, that's another favorite of mine, Pink Chiffon, Beautiful Day, Sugared Snickerdoodle, I'm laughing because of what I'm looking at. Winter Candy Apple. Cotton Candy Clouds. Coconut Cream Pie. Gingham Heart of Gold. Another Coconut Cream Pie. This isn't all my Coconut Cream Pies either. I also have a few more to add in here, but I have an overflow bin too, so. That's everything for my lotion bin so far. So give me a minute and I will go over my other lotions with you. Hi, so this is my overflow bin. Right now we've got Dark Kiss and Vanilla Bean Noel. I'll show you what else is in here now because in a minute I'll go through my creams. We have the Aroma Oasis. Moisturizing Body Wash for Butterfly. Another Aroma Oasis. 
black chamomile, my sea salt and lavender. Ooh. We've got copper coconut sands, cherry limeade. See, I did have it in a cream and not a shower gel. Summer Melody, Love, Cow Cow Rose, Cow Cow Rose, sorry. We have the Stress Relief. I use a lot of Stress Relief. Um, Shea Butter Hand Cream, a Gingham Moisturizing Body Wash, and I've got the Waikiki Beach Coconut Moisturizing, moisturizing Body Wash. And we're going to be adding sleigh rides and snuggles, not sleigh rides and struggles. And we're adding a cotton candy cloud and another cotton candy cloud. And then I had a bin over here that I need to put in here anyway. So I took a couple out of the other bin to put into the overflow bin because it's getting a little heavy. So I took out the meringue one and some of my fireside flurries and one of my rose ones. And this is why I'm going to take a break for a little bit and just do videos on, um, you know, reviews and different ideas and things like that. Um, don't worry, I will eventually have other hauls. I also have black chamomile moisturizing body wash I'm adding. Got my tea tree and mint. Ooh. Bubbly rose cream. This is all stuff that I inventory recently and I need to put away, so that's why I'm sitting on the floor doing this. I've got coconut cream pie. Figured since I had the bins out, I might as well show you guys coconut cream pie. Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle. I'm obsessed with this. I'm actually about to finish a body cream of this and it just smells so much like a yummy buttery cookie dough that I can't get enough of it, so... It's making me want to make cookies. We've got snowflakes and cashmere. And then I'm going to go through all my other creams that are in the other cream bin. And hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll go through my shower gels. We'll see. This one is a beast. So I hope you guys are sitting down. This is going to be a long video. Sorry. Well, not too bad. Um, I have a sleep aromatherapy, ultimate hydration, body cream, I think. We were going to use one, then I have something else to that I was going to use use this up with sit in and let her use it. So I got to set that aside, I think. Unless I have an open I don't think I have an open one. Um, so far, we've got two beach nights. I've got Gingham Love. And this weekend, I'm shaking them too to make sure they didn't go bad. Open Sky. That's how you know they're bad, is when they start swishing around in there. Vanilla Confetti Sparkle. This one's still good. We've got Midsummer Dream. Vanilla Coconut. Love Always Wins Rainbow Waves. Saltwater Breeze. Honolulu Sun. Cotton Candy Champagne which is love. I've got love sugared snit or joy sugared snickerdoodle again. Uh, gingham heart of gold. Pastel skies. I have more of these two, I think. Uh, a thousand wishes for you. More of the midsummer dream. This is one of the ones that I stupidly ordered off Mercari right before it came back. And I had an entire, um, I did get refunded for part of the order because, and I had to fight for it. I had an entire fine fragrance mist just completely come unglued inside that package. And that's what that's from. That's from that. It, it just, it, yeah, it all came apart and it, it was not well packed. Let's put it that way. It, it basically poured out of the bottle. We got pink watermelon. Gingham love. Your wonder. Another gingham love. Another pink watermelon blast. A copper coconut sands. 
and vanilla and mocha cream. Two more confetti sparkle or vanilla confetti sparkle. We've got buttercups of Fairy Bellini. A thousand wishes. White tea and sage. Oh, I missed this when I exchanged it. Dang it. All right. Um, might declutter that one. I've got Forever Red. I thought I got rid of that. Hmm, I probably wasn't thinking straight. A thousand wishes. Unless I accidentally, I think I might have, no. I thought, I was going to say, did I return one of my Bear Bellinis? But I, no, I didn't. <laughs> We've got Bahamas, Fashion Free Banana Flower, Fiji Sunshine Guavatini, Dark Kiss. These used to be in a better order than this. Secret Wonderland. Buttercups and Berry Bellini again. Another Midsummer Dream. Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Pink Watermelon. Cloud Nine. At the Beach. Butterfly. Cozy Sunday morning, fresh coconut cotton, and pretty as a peach. And the reason, I mean, I'm trying to put like older ones in my project, use it up, so I do use them. And you know, you never know when it's gonna all of a sudden go bad. Like, I had some stuff that was recent go bad, so I always try to stay on top of it and go through this bin pretty often, check it out, see what's going on in here. And also, I keep these under my desk. I have, that's part of my storage. You don't want to see my closet right now. It's a hot mess. But um, that way I can check back with them. But keeping them in a cool, dry space. Like if you have a closet that doesn't get light or that stays pretty cool, that would be a good idea. Some people put their fragrances in a refrigerator. And I'm, I'm not going to put my stuff in the fridge because my husband just literally knows what he would do. Uh, we have enough stuff in our fridge. But we can't put them in the closets here because there's no AC or or vents in there that's keeping it cool. So if it's 100 degrees outside, like I'll have the AC on. The rest of the house is fine, but our bedroom closet is hot. So... That kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's not really a big deal. I think I need to take this one out pretty soon for Project Use It Up. So I'm going to do that. I think my biggest problem is that lately I've been tempted to use stuff that's not my Project Use It Up because I was smelling all of my fine fragrance mist the other day. And, you know, I was like, oh, I want to do this one. Oh, I want to do that one. But I didn't want to stress myself out about it. So I'm like, no, I'll just stick to my Project Use It Up. And I might have... Um, some more shorts having to do with my Project Use It Up stuff coming up pretty soon. Um, I was thinking, I was inspired. I saw another YouTuber. She did 30 fragrances in 30 days. I'm just going to do 31 days of Project Use It Up and something, you know, do something with that and see where that goes. I thought that might be kind of fun rather than, you know, I don't want to copy her. It's a good idea. I think 31 days of Project Use It Up would be kind of fun. So that's coming in July. And that is all I have for all my body creams and lotions and a few of my body washes. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.